complete family reunion. <laughs> Welcome to Czech Republic. <laughs> on this video, I travel around the Czech Republic and go on a road trip to explore multiple cities, roam around its streets exploring the castles, and maybe drink some beer with my family for Christmas, and visit my sister who relocated to Prague last year. Okay, so we are now walking and going to explore the old town square of Prague where we're going to visit the famous astronomical clock around the area. Prague is a very beautiful city, so for the photography today, I think I'm going to focus more on practicing my street photography. Largest Christmas market in Prague. The most touristy and the most expensive. <laughs> but it looks pretty. We spent a few minutes around the Christmas market and got ourselves dinner for the night. And I took myself some test shots of the crowd and the surrounding architecture. A really beautiful square. I then continued walking along and admiring the city streets. And then I noticed something very interesting. So I'm just really liking this road with the cobbled stones. And then you have the sunburst at the back. And then I can use some people in the background for their shadows. Nice street photography. Charles Bridge. <laughs> but look at that crowd. <laughs> wow. Charles Bridge is one of the most iconic sites around Prague and one of the most famous bridges around the world. It connects the Old Town Square and the Malastrana neighborhood where Prague Castle is located. One of the city highlights of Prague, it comes with a flurry of tourists, so I figure out how best to take the photos around. Okay, so I'm quite enjoying taking photos along the Charles Bridge, but using my 100 to 400 telephoto because it's quite different from the typical tourist shots and then you get a lot of the compression of the structures behind and then there's some tourists in the foreground. Mm. Quite like it. Let me know what you think. We carry on further walking the streets and do what I think everyone should put in their travel bucket list. Eat in every McDonald's around the world. We passed by a few more spots like this beautiful church and the John Lennon wall before we head off to Prague Castle. We just passed through the security check of the Prague Castle grounds and we're going to explore. There's supposedly an, a very nice view of the city from here. So, quite looking forward to that. and. The sky cleared up. We have some nice color starting already. It really was a beautiful lookout point that offered wide views of Prague and the stunning architecture of the city. We also had some nicely textured clouds and birds flocking around as we wrapped up this city tour. So we just arrived Kutna Ora and behind me is what you call the Bone Church, which is a church decorated by real human bones very eerie so we're not allowed to take any photos or footage inside but it was definitely a sight to see <laughs> very interesting to see all those decorations with real bones but quite creepy we stroll further the streets in Kutna Ora with the purpose of visiting churches that day not far from the bone church ossuary is another unesco listed cathedral of the assumption of our lady and saint john the baptist it excited me quite a bit seeing the grand architecture where I can sit down and pray for you to like and subscribe. So we are now headed to our next church. So I think after this trip, I'll improve a bit more in my architectural and interior photography, which I admittedly think is a genre that I've never really explored before. But inside those buildings, there is a lot of like symmetry shapes that you can focus on. So that's something for me to practice. Okay, so we are now at the grounds of the St. Barbara's Church, which is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites that you can see around here in Kutna Ora. And it's a massive church, <laughs> very beautiful details around it. And I can see there's also like a lookout point over there, which I want to check out. The St. Barbara's Church was quite the experience for someone like me who isn't really that knowledgeable in these historical sites and geography. Being immersed in all of these UNESCO heritage sites, it's one thing to admire the grandeur of these places, but knowing their significance made me appreciate them a bit more. We will be exploring and photographing a lot more of these UNESCO World Heritage sites throughout this Czech road trip, so make sure to watch until the end. So because Czech Republic is the biggest beer drinker in the whole world, I have to try their beer. Cheers!
We proceed to walk around town after the filling meal and check this interesting well out along with the beautiful streets. But we had to leave and make our way out to drive to the next city, which you really have to see. Welcome to Chesky Krumov, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And if you look at the town, it's going to be something straight out of a fairy tale or something from the medieval times. They preserve the architecture of this place from the 14th to the 17th century. And there's a lot of the castles and churches around that we're going to explore today. So today I want to give myself a small challenge of just using my 50 mil prime lens in shooting the Chesky Krumlov area. I don't know, I just thought about doing myself some practice with the prime lens. The Chesky Krumlov is probably one of the most picturesque cities I've ever seen. And our first stop is at this bridge where I try to make the lamest joke with a straight face. So I'm now walking on this bridge called the Horny Bridge and the people who are here live on Horny Street. After my failure as a stand-up comedian, we go to the town square where my parents found their UNESCO marker for a quick photo collection spot. And I continue on with practicing my street photography by looking at interesting patterns, colors, and framing the architecture. I think the images came out quite nicely where I've tried adding some human interaction for added interest along with the colorful streets. We then march forward to the Chesky Krumlov castle and immediately I found this nice composition. quite like the framing. You see all the details of the paintings. So we're just exploring this castle that has five courtyards. So we're now in the third courtyard and the views from a while ago were like really stunning. I really like this castle a lot. There's so many gorgeous viewing points. You see all the orange rooftops of the town. Quite picturesque. After leaving the beautiful Chesky Krumlov that I enjoyed so much, we headed on towards a small town called Trebon, where we stayed a measly half an hour for a quick look and strolled around some palace grounds. There really wasn't much to see, but it was a nice stop over nonetheless, before we arrive at another town called Telch. An interesting fact about this town is despite being so tiny, its main square is the largest main square in all of Czech Republic. Lots of Christmas trees, more pastel colored houses, buildings. We have a misty morning today, so quite an interesting vibe. And all those houses behind me are dated at least 300 years old. Today I learned. To be honest, I was already feeling a bit tired of seeing pastel colored houses at this point after having been to four prior cities and they all started to look quite the same to me already. So I lolled around with this water pump but also got tired of that too. So I gave myself an interesting challenge of doing street photography with a telephoto lens. I had this gut feeling that the telephoto would work really nice over this view. I think I was right. <laughs> the perspective of the 100 to 400 is just amazing. The scale and you can zoom all, all the way towards the people walking on the street and then you have the surrounding houses. We've gone through five different towns already, but we're still not done. And the next stop is this lovely place called Trebich. I like that view with the reflection on this small river. And I forgot to mention the Jewish quarters here in Trebich is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And I just had to ask, why? Why is it a UNESCO? Largest preserved Jewish quarter in the world. More today I learned stuff. We proceed to walk around the colorful streets and up this hill with a nice viewing point overlooking the town. Okay, so we're doing this short walk up a viewing point of the Trebich town and the sky is giving us a yellowish color already and you can see all the orange rooftops of the houses and over there I can see like a small bridge where I'm just waiting for a person to pass by. Quite like the composition because it quite gives like a some sort of a story of the daily life of this town. <laughs> to wrap off the visit, we spent time around another UNESCO World Heritage Site and massive church called the St. Procopius Basilica. Although I did not take any photos this time around. I'm not sure why, probably because I was hungry and needed another burger. So we drive off for a couple more hours and arrive the last town. 
So this is Brno, which is the second largest city in the Czech Republic, next to Prague. Spelled with B-R-N-O. Sounds like it's just missing you. I really need to find me a girl who will appreciate my puns, but before that, let's check out this church called the St. Vitus Cathedral, which has prominent Gothic features, which I really admired. And we explore around inside the cathedral and admire the architecture before we proceed to go to the Brno Castle, where I made friends with this dashing furry horse and explore the castle grounds. The Spielberg Castle is built on a hillside with good views of Brno all around and has a long history dating back the 13th century and served as a fortress and prison grounds. I really wish that I could share more on this leg of the trip, but unfortunately I got ill and felt kinda suffering and couldn't vlog properly as we stroll around another palace grounds with this stunning garden of which I managed to leave with a few interesting images. And that's a wrap of our family road trip around 7 Czech Republic towns. So let me know which town stood out the most, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.